Hi everybody and welcome back. I uh, appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate it. If this is your first time here and uh, you like what you're seeing, then uh, please, by all means, uh, subscribe. I, I really would appreciate it. Um, this is going to be another uh, entry into my series of videos um, showcasing albums that I will always keep in my record collection no matter what. And uh, we're going to go with the letters M through Q. So we're going to start with Manfred Mann's Earth Band and the album The Roaring Silence. Uh, just a really, really good album. It's got uh, the song called Waiter. There's a, a, what is it, a yawn in my ear. Waiter, there's a yawn in my ear. They also, they also cover uh, Blinded by the Light, which is one of the early Bruce Springsteen covers, uh, probably before Bruce was even popular. I think this record came out in 1976. Uh, and then we've got uh, the song Singing the Dolphins Through, which I really, really like. Uh, and then we've got The Road to Babylon. So it's just kind of a... Uh, it rocks. It's got a little bit of prog feeling to it. But um, it's one that uh, I've been a fan of since the first day it came out. And it's never left my collection. I've had it either on a vinyl or CD um, all these years. My next choice is going to be uh, Don McLean, American Pie. And not because of the song American Pie, but this has got so many good, good songs on it. It's got Vincent, uh, Empty Chairs, um, Winterwood, Till Tomorrow, Everybody Loves Me Baby. This is a really good album. Uh, Don McLean is so much more than just American Pie. But um, I remember exactly where I was, what I was doing, everything. The first time I heard American Pie, I was in my bedroom. I had headphones on. I had uh, uh, my stereo set up so I could listen to the radio with headphones so I didn't bother my mother. And the first night that song came on, it was like, <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to describe but you're, as you're listening to the story unfold for the first time, you realize what a great, great song it is and how well written it was. And, and then you had to figure out what everything meant. Um, you know, there was all these, all these uh, lines of, of lyrics where, what do you mean by that? And what do you mean by this? And uh, was he talking about Janis Joplin? Was he talking about the Rolling Stones? Um, but uh, this is a, a solid record. So, if the only thing you know is American Pie, give this a listen because there's other really good songs on it. And then the next uh, album in M would be Mata Hoople. Um, I just love the All the Young Dudes album, but this has got all the hits, you know, everything I'd want to hear, all the way from Memphis. Um, Born Late, All the Young Dudes, Roll Away the Stone, The Ballad of Mott, uh, Golden Age of Rock and Roll. You know, you can't go wrong with Mott the Hoople. I, I've just been an Ian Hunter fan ever since uh, I heard uh, the album All the Young Dudes. And that takes us to The Mamas and the Papas. And of course I've got to go with the greatest hits because they had so many so many radio hits California Dream and Monday Monday Creek Alley I Call Your Name uh, Go Where You Want to Go I mean, what a great great uh, folk act they were everybody should have some mamas and papas and then uh, John Cougar Mellencamp we went from John Cougar to uh, John Cougar Mellencamp to John Mellencamp but this has got all the good stuff I mean uh, he had a lot of good albums this is the one I'm gonna pick because it's got Rain on the Scarecrow um, Small Town we've got uh, Minutes of Memories Rumble Seat uh, You've Gotta Stand for Something and ROCK in the USA 
what I consider to be his best album. Scarecrow by John Cougar Mellencamp. And that brings us to the Steve Miller Band. Steve Miller, you know, a lot of great songs in the 70s, uh, going into the 80s. But I'm going to go with the early Steve Miller. And for me, Anthology has all the good stuff from the, from the early days of Steve. You've got uh, I Love You. It's I Love You, but it's I Love You. Uh, going to the country, Cow Cow Calculator, Your Saving Grace, Going to Mexico, Space Cowboy, Living in the USA, uh, Seasons, uh, Don't Let Nobody Turn You Around, In My Dark Hour, which has Paul McCartney on it. Um, absolute must album for anybody who's, who's trying to get into the Steve Miller Band. This is a real good place to start. And then that brings us to the Monkees. Monkees are probably my top five favorite artists of all time. Maybe my top three. Um, and for me, it's Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones, LTD. For one thing, I love this cover. I think it's just a fantastic looking record cover. The artwork, the drawing. You got the little Monkees logo over here and the flowers. This is the original pressing on Cold Gems. And you've got uh, Salesman. She hangs out the door in the summer. Um, what am I doing hanging around? Uh, Daily, nightly. I love that song. Don't Call On Me. Don't Call On Me is just a really pretty song. Uh, and Star Collector. For me, this has got the most uh, of, of the monkey stuff that I like this on one album. So... I like all their records, don't get me wrong. I, any one of them could probably be my favorite album, but if I could only keep one record, this is the one I would keep. And that brings us to Van Morrison. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people may not agree with me on this one, but for me, this is my favorite Van Morrison album, The Healing Game. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Fire in the Belly, uh, The Waiting Game, uh, Burning Ground. Um, if you haven't, if you like Van, you know, if you like all the popular stuff, um, but and you haven't heard this, check it out. This is a really, really good album. When did this come out? This was uh, 1997. And that brings us to a, a band that, as far as I know, they only have one record. But it's such a good album. And I was really glad to see that it finally came out on vinyl. And that's The New Radicals. Um, maybe You've Been Brainwashed too. This is one of those records that came out of nowhere for me uh, when it first was released. And... Uh, I, you know, I got to, yeah at the time I had a used record store and somebody brought in the CD to trade in and I played it and I just fell in love with it immediately um, not a bad song on it not a bad record at all pick it up if you get a chance and then we go to Harry Nielsen I gotta go with another greatest hits because Harry had so many good songs I mean I love uh, The Point um I love this Popeye soundtrack. Uh, Nielsen sings Newman. Uh, I mean, I've got them all, but this has got everything you'd want to hear. Everybody's talking. Without her, one. I guess the Lord must be in New York City. Me and my arrow. Coconut. Without you. Jump into the fire. Spaceman. Daybreak. It just goes on and on. It's a killer, killer greatest hits album. And again, if you're new to Harry Nielsen, this is a great place to start. But I really do recommend almost every record he's ever put out. Except for Pussycats. I didn't care for Pussycats. And you would think that with John Lennon being involved in it, that you know this could be a great album, but they were 
I guess it's drunk and high most of the time, so it really turned out to be a not very good album. And then the, I come to uh, the O's, and for me, Gilbert O'Sullivan himself, along with Alone Again Naturally, which is one of my top ten all-time favorite songs. But again, this is an album that is really good. I mean, there's there's not a bad song on here. Nothing rhymed, too much attention, uh, thunder and lightning, if I don't get you back again. Fantastic record. Yeah, I'm, I'm, probably two or three of his albums I really like, but this is one that uh, it's, up, it's way up there on my must-have list. And then that brings us to Sean Phillips, an album called Faces. Uh, there's just something about this to me that's almost uh, magical. I, I can put it on and I don't really have to pay attention to it. It's got beautiful guitar uh, work in it, um, just songs that flow and almost float. Um, Landscape, La Ballad, Hey Miss Lonely, I love that song. Uh, Parisian Plight 2, which is very spacey, very trippy. Uh, starts out with the sounds of, uh, um, and, you know, like uh, Tropical Forest or something. Um, and then you've got Anella, Where Are You, which is probably for me the highlight of this album. I've got four albums maybe by Sean Phillips, and I don't listen to the others that much, but this one here. Uh, gets played frequently This guy is just an amazing guitarist and this in my opinion is his best album and That brings us to the Alan Parsons project and of course I've got to go with iRobot. I don't know if there's a better album By Alan Everybody knows it. Everybody knows this album, but uh I like all, all of his stuff, but this is one I would have to have. And that brings us to uh, Robert Plant. And this could be controversial for uh, Robert Plant fans, but for me, I love this Honey Drippers album. Sea of Love, I love the covers. Uh, Rockin' at Midnight, um, I Got a Woman. It, you know, it's just a five-song EP, but it's really good. Um, everything and I, I don't know did they ever do a volume two maybe uh, Vance knows is that Pearl let me know did they ever do a volume two and I know that uh, you know he's done some great stuff uh, on his own but this one to me rocks and anything with a saxophone for me I'm in on it and then we come to Tom Petty and geez it's tough it's hard he's done so many good albums so many good records but i'm gonna go with full moon fever um free fall and won't back down uh, face in the crowd i'll feel a whole lot better you're so bad um it's the zombie zoo yeah easy choice really when you look at the songs that are on it but did, did tom ever do a bad album i don't think so that was one loss that uh, really hit hard. You know, you just don't expect it, and out of the blue, he's gone. Uh, then it brings us to Pink Floyd. And my favorite Pink Floyd album is Metal. Uh, never get tired of this record. I love all their albums. Uh, I Sometimes, it was actually about a 10-year period where I could not listen to Dark Side of the Moon. And uh, I've gotten over that. But this album, I've never, ever gotten tired of listening to. Um, metal, One of These Days, Echoes, killer, killer record. I'm going to go see uh, Roger Waters here this coming Saturday. So it'll be my first time seeing anybody from Pink Floyd. And that takes us to Elvis. And sorry that I'm doing these greatest hits, but some of these artists, that's what you have to do. And for Elvis, it's going to be the analog productions of 24 karat hits. He's got everything you'd want. Just great, great record. Uh, three album set. And it's got just about everything you would ever want to hear by Elvis in fantastic quality. I think this is still in print. And if you're looking for 
maybe the best sounding Elvis record this could be yet right here. And that brings us to the last record, uh, letter Q, and that would be Queen. And for me, I picked this record because I saw this tour. So I like the jazz album. Oh, the mailman must be here. My dog's letting me know. So anyways, that concludes my records that I must have. And jazz is going to be my record pick for Queen. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for another in this series coming up in a few days. Until later, ciao.